What is your s confession? <laughs> no way. I definitely had a five. What? And it was right after I got done with my white boyfriend. And it was all black guys. This is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. What are the chances me and my homies and you have a four? Ten out of ten. What are the chances we do that right now? Right now. Yeah. In the middle of all this. Nah, we got a BNB five minutes away. Okay. We actually gotta go back to the crib. This one ready right now. When it's all said and done, what black guy have not been on that roller coaster already? Trust me, it's easy as they say it is, guys. Get out there. These are all ways to fall back, chicks. That are for the streets. You must learn to outgrow them. But when you're young and dumb, go ahead and have some fun. That's just how the game goes. Trying to learn how to golf. That's how easy it is, guys. This is the stuff how women become OnlyFans models because this is the norm. This is how girls are making their money nowadays. Like, but let's just be honest. Everyone still likes looking at it, right? What's up, y'all? I just had to do this video. I'm doing this video for the girls with the fat. Because y'all been trying to come on my page on some funny shit talking about I have a dick. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? I have a fat wallet. Like, if I was to go like this, you don't think I'll be hanging down? Let's be honest, these are the typical hood boogers out there that we do reaction videos on because there's guys out there that are getting their heart broken by women that are just like this, the ones that are for the streets. Men have to learn to distinguish the difference between the good girls and the bad girls. Once you can distinguish the difference between the two, girls like this are very, very, very entertaining to look at, to listen to, because you don't take anything that they're doing seriously. The sad part is you still have guys out there that take women like this serious and mad that these type of women don't want them. Why are you here? You Why are you here? Sorry, Why are you here? No, you're not. I, you I have a restraining order on you. Do you want me to call the police? Order? Yes, I will call the police right now. Yes, because you're doing too much. So you call Move. The, wait, wait, wait. So you're going to call the police? Yes, do you want me to call the scene? You're not supposed to be near me. I don't care. You're not supposed to be nowhere near me. I don't want you. No, I don't mess with you. Look at this fool. I don't mess with you. We have a restraining order. I will call the police. Get from by me now. No, I don't care about that. No, you're not. No, you're not. And I got. I'm having proof right here. Well, I'm calling. Because you're doing too much. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. No, you you dragging it. You dragging it. You're doing the most. No, you is. You're not going nowhere with me. You're not going nowhere that I ain't supposed to be at. Ain't that the law of a restraining order? I'm not doing. I'm not doing too much. You're doing too much. You're not supposed to be near me at all. So. Now when I call the police, you're going to be looking dumb and they're going to put you in handcuffs at your daughter's graduation. Oh How about God, that? You, you yeah. All, that, like, I swear all right, guys, let's understand this. We're in the year 2023 going into the year 2024. You have to be careful who you sleeping with. And if any of you guys out there got a baby mama that's just like this, you must learn how to play the game. You can't be argumentative. But let's keep it honest. This is a skit. But not only is it a skit, but this is a situation that a lot of guys are going through. One thing that I can say to the guys that have baby mothers, the only thing that you can do is just make sure you and your baby mother are on good terms. If you're in a relationship and she's not, you better try to help and find and put her in a relationship. If she gets in a relationship and you're not, then guess what? She beats you to the happiness. That's what happens when you're dealing with exes. Everyone's trying to beat you to the happiness, but both of you better find somebody to be with. If not, one's gonna aggravate the other that's trying to get away. That's how the game go. Like he flying to everybody else too? No, not at all. No, I'm sorry, he gotta go. Thank you. How you feel about it, my guy? You wanna put your eyes on something? Like my b look better than her. <laughs> look. I could put my bitch on the screen. My bitch look better than her. And my fit costs more than whatever she got on. And her bag. She bugging. Sad. It's all right. And her dress dirty as shit too. I'm broke. What you mean? Yeah, she look like shark tail mother on my mother. I'm on her ass. <laughs> I'm trying to too. What? Why you want to tell her that? Uh, she's not her ugly ass. <laughs> all right. Her ugly bitch gonna eliminate me. I get fly to her mother. I get fly to her brothers. <laughs> Why are you 
Okay, what happened is he got rejected and now he comes up with all these things like what's better than her. My, my, my clothes are better than her. What I'm wearing is better than her. My jewelry is better than her. Guys, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you cannot compete with women on that roam. Why? A lot of men have to make themselves valuable. A woman can get a guy with a $5 dress on with no money in her pocket. Simple as that. You're not supposed to be trying to compare yourself to women. That's where a lot of guys are going backwards at. You develop in a feminine mindset that immediately once you get your heart broken, now you're out here trying to hurt someone else's heart. You can't do that. You got to learn to not jump into your feelings. You have to be able to take the pain and move on with your life. A lot of guys are being feminine and women are just not feeling feminine men anymore. It used to be a time where women appreciated feminine men because it allowed them to overpower them. But nowadays, women are dealing with feminine men on a scale that's starting to make them depressed. That I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I am so effing tired of the amount of emotional labor that comes with dating black men. I am so tired of the lack of commitment, the lack of support, the lack of encouragement, the lack of money. Like, I don't know what to do from this point on, but I can tell you one thing. My interest in dating another black man is like 1% at this point. They want us to be ride or dies until they get their shit together. And then they don't want to support us in return. They don't want to commit to us. They don't want to marry us. But then they want all the benefits of being a husband without actually proposing to us. I need someone who's intentional in every single aspect. Mm-mm. 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 It doesn't take very long for me to get dressed. Pretty much in a nutshell, when it comes to the black community, it is pretty much over with. And the reason why it's over with is because both men and women are both looking for love. The only problem is most black men come from single mothers who have designed them to be in son husbands, who have designed them to be in weak and have designed them to be in their emotions. When you're in your emotions all the time, it is hard for a man to become successful because you have to be strong in order to be successful. You have to be able to with, go through pain in order to be successful. And most black men are not successful and they're not dominant because they've been raised by women. So now a lot of these black women who've had to play the dominant role, you're looking at the situation like there's not enough men good enough for us. I dig it. But at the same time, a lot of you black women, you have to understand the way that black men are right now is because of you. This is what you wanted. This is what you guys have been promoting. Mothers have emasculated their sons. You black women are programming their sons to be in suckers and simps and weak men. And you're not telling your sons that you're kings and that you could be this great guy. You're just teaching black men how to be weak. So a lot of black men grow up and they're in their feelings their entire life. They're 40, 50 years old. Soon as someone says something about them, then they're angry. They're mad. They want to lash out. That's the problem, black women. You made black men the way that they are so you can overpower them. Then you turn around and get mad that they're not strong enough for you. Hopefully you guys understand it's pretty much over with. Thank you for watching Anthony Spade Reactions. If you want more reaction videos, make sure you click on the links below in the description and watch my other videos. But also check me out on my second channel, Life with Anthony Spade, so you can watch more daily vlogs of my personal life. Hasta la vista.